These are free roaming ambush predators. Hello there explorers and welcome to a bugman's life. It's really good to see you guys. My name is Ludwig and I'm an entomologist from South Africa. Today we're taking a look at the Themisidae family or flower crab spiders. There are over 2000 species in the Themisidae family. These spiders are widespread and found on all the continents except Antarctica. They are often encountered in the garden, but don't worry, they are harmless to humans. These are free roaming ambush predators that will sit and wait for the prey to come to them. The spider's excellent camouflage fools the pollinators that's visiting the flowers. Once a prey item is within range, the spider will grab onto it with its front legs and bite it, injecting venom. These spiders are able to change color from white to yellow or pink and back again. But the energy cost of such a color change is extremely high. Thus the spiders would rather avoid changing color and use that energy to hunt food. I did try to take a time lapse of these spiders changing color. But because they take anything between 8 and 24 hours to change color, it was a very difficult task. And secondly, these spiders only change color when they decide they want to. And some of them took between 5 and 6 days. The others never even changed color. So I unfortunately do not have that time lapse for you. Flower crab spiders show sexual dimorphism, meaning the males and females look different. Here we can see a small male climbing onto the back of a female while she is busy with her prey item. That is so that he avoids getting eaten due to his tiny size. Here we have another pair and the male is sitting on the back of the female. He is waiting for her to mature so that he can mate with her. And that concludes this quick look into the life of flower crab spiders. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and go share this video with your friend. Then remember to explore, discover and share. I will see you explorers next time.